Antigua was established as the city Santiago de Guatemala in 1543, after Spanish conquistadors took the land from the Cachiquel indigenous Maya people of the area. The Spanish made the city, nestled in the Panchoy Valley, its capital of the Captaincy General or Kingdom of Guatemala for over 200 years. The city survived floods, volcanic eruptions, and smaller earthquakes until Santiago de Guatemala was mostly destroyed in 1773 by the Santa Marta earthquake. This caused the Spanish to establish Nueva Guatemala, or Guatemala City, as the new capital. After this exodus, the area was nearly abandoned and its remaining population consisted of mostly indigenous residents. The locals began to refer to Santiago de Guatemala as La Antigua Guatemala, meaning Old Guatemala City. The city was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Antigua was rated the top city in Central and South America in 2021 by travel and leisure. The 1773 earthquake did not completely level the Spanish colonial buildings, as a few still remain as stunning ruins with impressive facades. There are plenty of bars and breweries and an endless number of restaurants to eat traditional Guatemalan food as well as international cuisines. Several volcanoes surround the city and on a clear day you can catch the billowing smoke of an active volcano. In modern times, Antigua has become a booming city for tourism. Sure, there is El Arco de Santa Catalina, built as a way for nuns to get from the convent where they lived to where they taught at the school across the street, but there's a lot more to Antigua that we can't wait to see. But first, we eat. Breakfast is a big deal here in Guatemala. Everywhere we look for breakfast, there's a two for one special. The restaurant we're at right now doesn't offer that out of the gate, but the hotel that we stayed at had a two for one coupon, so that's where we're here right now. I have desayuno chapin, which has eggs and plantains and beans. Now, normally it uh, doesn't come uh, with onions and tomatoes, but we had them switch it out because it normally comes with a sausage, a piece of sausage or meat that we didn't have because we don't eat meat. But uh, we're very happy that they were able to make that adjustment for us, made it into a little bit of an omelet. And that delivers for sure. Mm. We haven't had a lot of beans or rice in our travels lately, so it's really good to have that. And then we have the even the plantain here, which is good for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> and the service is amazing. And I have the tostadas mañaneras, and it is a tostada with beans, guacamole, scrambled eggs, tomatoes, and cheese. So let's try this. And this is how it comes. We didn't change anything on this. There's no meat on this one. Yeah, I've never had a breakfast tosada before. Really, really good. Did she say one dollar? Well, you know, we've been lied to before. <laughs> but she did say that we can get that one, what was it, a blanket or a scarf? It's, no, 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 it's a table runner. Table runner? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't have, we don't own a dining room table, so no. <laughs> that might not be a good investment. No. But we are here in Antigua. The weather is pretty nice. It's a little bit uh, cool today, a little bit overcast. Behind us, we have the famous arch and basically where everybody goes uh, and takes their pictures. And right here, this looks like a, I mean, this is like uh, Christ being crucified, like a rem memorial scene. One dollar. Hey lady. <laughs> Gracias. And behind the arch is a volcano but it's too overcast to see. All right, oh, okay. A truck that we tried to avoid. The garbage man is back with a vengeance. Um, oh, gracias. There, there's a um, market with traditional things, but let's keep walking this way. We don't know how long we're gonna have decent weather before it starts raining today, since we are here in the rainy season. This road is definitely a little bit crazy. Not the craziest ever, but uh, you would think with how touristy this is, this would be more of a pedestrian path, but there's motorcycles and trucks and all kinds of things. Yeah, because if you want to take your photo under the arch, you're going to have to not only navigate people, but you're going to have to navigate all the cars too. Yeah. So. And some windows here just have watermelons in them. Nice.
I heart Antigua. So far, I agree. We are oh, at. Wait, hold on. That view does look cool. I mean, the tuk tuk's in the way, but now that we're at a distance. Tuk tuk's are never in the way. Yeah. Then, though, that view does look really cool, but everyone was on the other side of the arch taking a picture where you don't get to see the volcano, too. Yeah. So I think that you want to have the volcano and the arch. Yeah. Looking good. Guapo. Right. <laughs> Thank you. See it this way. See? Without the tuk tuk in the way. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah. Gracias. She's enjoying herself. She's having a lot of laughs. Okay, I don't know if my eye, if my eye is watery because of allergies. Look, but maybe. You think? Uh, well, we are in the land of eternal spring, so do you think yeah. maybe some of the allergies from some of the plants? Probably. And there's tons of plants. I mean, it's gorgeous here. Hi. 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 <laughs> Oh, remember when we saw this in Guatemala City? Right, we tried to get the ice cream, but we couldn't. So it is ice cream. And it's based off of uh, a bus. Yeah, school bus. It's even got the little blue on it. The, the camionetas is what they call them. Okay. Yeah. And friendly tuk-tuk drivers will definitely take advantage of that at some point. Also, if you come to Latin America, especially like Guatemala and Mexico, they're not gonna say baños everywhere, they're gonna say sanitarios. So, don't miss el baño, won't get you as far as you think. <laughs> what is this? This is what the drum. Drum? Yes. From, from uh, local? This is Guatemala? Uh -huh, Guatemala. This is Yeah. I see? Your yeah. natural. <laughs> Muy bonito. Good Gracias. Good <laughs> oh, Gracias. Oh. Sombreros on El Piso. Sombrero para el traje. No, so you. Oh. <laughs> Why? Does everybody just want to put a hat on me? I don't know what you said. Where is it done? Bailemos. Bailemos. Y si me compras. Good idea, lady. Good job. Thank you. Good offer. Come on. Take one. Just one dollar. Just one dollar. I don't think it's $1. <laughs> We're in Parque Central. Uh, it is action packed here. Uh, Katia almost had a sombrero force upon your head. Again. <laughs> um, apparently, that's not a weird thing to do internationally. And also, um, you learned that you're a natural on the Guatemalan drum. Yeah. So, oh. Awesome. We got pigeons. Someone must have just thrown wow. food. Wow. Yeah. It's like a Hitchcock movie out here. I wish I was that brave. Gracias. Jade? Is that Jade? We got a Fallon. I mean, she's trying to cover up herself, but I don't think she's doing a great job. Safety first. Gracias. Found this market. It could potentially be a pop-up market that's just on the weekends. It is Saturday. <laughs> but let's see what they have. It looks like they have a lot of stuff. Yeah, all traditional desserts. Todo es con azúcar. Here we have our Guatemalan guava dessert. It's a... Uh, a bit loose and wobbly. Is it like a like a gummy bear texture? It's difficult. I guess if you had a giant gummy bear, it'd be like it. It tastes really, really good. Definitely a lot of sugar on it, additionally to guava already being pretty sweet, but pretty tasty. And we got two pieces for five okay. pesos. So it's a traditional uh -huh. Guatemalan uh -huh. drink. Sí, es de antigua, típica de antigua. Oh, de antigua. Antigua es típica. So lemon, ginger, and pepper. Pepper. Okay. Very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Algunas personas le gusta prepararlo con vodka, ron, whisky, Whoa. tequila. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Here we have a local establishment. It could be a cafe. It could be 
a local restaurant. Oh, it's Taco Bell. Antigua makes everything fancy. We are in a sunflower field. I'm so excited because sunflowers are my favorite flowers and they're my mom's favorite flowers. And we are in a sunflower field. I haven't been in a sunflower field in years. So I'm so excited. And where are we right now? Oh yeah, so these kinds of things, you have to go on the outskirts of Antigua. So we are here in the nature. We've got the volcano behind us. <sighs> it's beautiful out here. It feels like we're in the land of eternal spring. Greenery everywhere. And then over here you'll see some lavender being grown. It's just beautiful. Sunflowers. I wasn't sure if there were going to be sunflowers here, but there are. After the walk out to the sunflower field and back, we earned ourselves a nice meal and we really worked ourselves up an appetite. So we're at a local restaurant here. I think it's called the Guatalara, Gua, Guatalaria. Guatalaria. Guatelaria. <laughs> See, exactly what you said. So we have two traditional meals. We were going to get pepion here, but um, the Maya version just had like uh, pumpkin seeds and chilies and some other spices but once they had the Spanish fusion they added a bunch of meat into it and we're vegetarian so that wasn't gonna work out but the soup that we have here this is the lentil version there's also the chicken version this is lentil polique probably saying that terribly gringo apologize but we have basically lentil soup we have some rice with some vegetables some local greens here uh, it looks really really delicious let's just give this a little taste here So, so good for a vegetarian dish. That's amazing. And then also here, we have uh, hummus choppy. So they're a local version of hummus, which we've had a lot of in the past with these nice crispy chips. And then also with this meal, we have our Guatemalan tortillas, nice and fresh and nice and hot. We'll have that off camera, but let's try this local hummus. Also really, really good. Uh, different flavor profiles than you'll find in like the Middle East, you'll find in Turkey, but they really know what they're doing when it comes to the hummus. Um, in addition to this, we also had a appetizer that they give you, which was a tostada and had beans and we think maybe parsley, but some kind of green on it. And then what was like the, there was like a red sauce. It's like a tomato sauce. It's like a tomato sauce on it as well. So we have a full vegetarian feast, but we highly recommend trying these things when you're here in Antigua. We have made it to the local market and we're looking for three things. I'm looking for a pair of earrings, ideally made out of jade, because we heard that's really popular here. So hopefully we can find some affordable ones. Will is looking for a national team jersey replica. He loves the one that he has, but he wants another one. And as always, we're looking for our patch. Cristo mm -hmm. Amen. That's basically what he's saying. Yes, that's so true. Amen. These are cute. They even have a fancy sign over there. Yeah, for the artisanal stuff. Yeah, yeah maybe that's where we can find our earrings. Or my earrings. You're not going to wear them. I'm not going to wear them. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. Lo siento. Please don't attack the children. Is this one you're looking for? That would be the one, yeah. That's the one you're looking for? That's the one I'm looking for, yeah. Um, we just need to maybe find extra large or something like that. This is the extra large? Yeah. Okay. I've gotten topless in a lot of different markets. <laughs> Salute. But uh, this is probably one of the busiest. She's telling you it's going to be small. <laughs> Chiquita. Soy gordo? Alto. Oh, alto, si. Sí. <laughs> no, 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 no. Muy inteligente. Doble? Doble? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, no sekis. <laughs> Stay comfortable, my friends. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Yeah. So, bien? Sí. What's the price in this? It's 90. 90? Ella dijo 60. It's for the extra large, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Because it's bigger. Yeah, but you should want to be able to give these away because nobody's as big as I am. What? What, we're, but you're you're trying to sell me down from where we were too hot. You could do better than this. Give me your best price. Good price. Good price. That's the price that we started. You went higher than back to the original price. I said good price. <laughs> Alright, give me a great price then. You can't give me a great price? Mejor más, el precio más mejor. 65, good price. 65. 60. 60 and let's do it. No 60? Alright. 65, good price. Alright, well, there's a lot of other Jersey places, so. It's okay. Really? Oh, okay, okay. Una de esas en um, doble XI. Yeah. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Uh, dos X. Dos X. Noventa. Eso lo precio más bajo. Ochenta y cinco. Más bajo, ¿no? Yeah. He said prices are based on the size. Ochenta y cinco. Okay, well, that guy would easily do it for 65. 65, yeah. Okay. El otro lo hizo, me lo iba a dar por uh, 65. No? No. Okay. 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 Okay.
5 dólares. ¿En qué sales? Eh, 35. 35. Ajá. ¿Lo la dos cosas por 50? 55. Es un buen precio. Okay. Okay, 55 por los dos. Okay. <laughs> Since we found her a patch, we got good vibes from her and then she talked us into buying a uh, Fuerte, very strong Antigua coffee. So, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> so, I uh this work, it's a friend of Jesus. I love it. Is this are from the Jade? This is Jade. The Jade. Jade. ¿Cuál es el precio más mejor que me puede dar? 50 dólares. ¿50? Sí. Ok. Un precio. Hay diferentes colores de piedra. ¿Estas? Sí. Wow, he did a big jump. I was not expecting that. So. <laughs> so I guess we found our jade earrings. <laughs> that was easy. ¿Es eso? Sí. Eso es uh, Dios vino. Ajá, murió. Murió. La timba Ajá. resucitó y él va a volver. Ajá, ahora estamos operando. ¿Cómo lo sabes? Uh, somos cristianos. Oh, es his design, pero uh, nosotros vimos algo similar en los estados. Ajá, Ajá. Pero hace seis años. Seis años. He's been doing so, that for six years. Probably. It's his design. Oh, ese chulo. That's cool. Y aquí tiene los colores de Guatemala. Called to serve. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Qué chévere. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. These are quetzales too. Look out, because it's the long thing. Mm -hmm. These are so cute. Hello. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos. Gracias. ¿Cuánto cuestan estas? Eh, sí, tienen diferentes precios. 6-0. Me, lo... ¿Me lo puede dar en 30? En 50, pues 5-0. Ah, 40. 45. 40. 45. Entonces yo tenía que decir 35. Okay. Para que tú podías decir 40. Okay. 40. Okay. 40? ¿Ya? ¿Qué negro? Sure. <laughs> Gracias. They even have a nice Guatemalan cross. We landed quite the haul at the markets. We were able to buy everything on our list and more. From there, we went to a multifaceted establishment that was home to the Antigua Brewing Company, Vita Rose's known for smoothies, and our first stop, Uleu, the Guatemalan cocktail house. Like a 1920s speakeasy, this bar is hidden in plain sight. But this one is right behind a phone booth. Uleu is a word in the Cachiquel Mayan language meaning earth. There's no menu, you just sit, tell the bartender the type of spirit, flavor, and taste that you like, and they prepare a unique drink for you. We asked them to make their version of an old fashioned. They began with Botran from Guatemala. Instead of smoking an orange like in a traditional old fashioned, they set fire to a piece of Guatemalan chocolate. It was time for a stir as they mixed this batch of ingredients together. Next, we saw them take out a giant ice cube and place it on the bar. Then out came an apparatus that looked like it could stamp a piece of paper or seal an envelope. Lastly, the ice cube was carefully placed into the drink, the glass was moved to a trendy plate, and we were ready to give it a try. After enjoying our old fashioned, perhaps call it Antigua Moda, we exited the phone booth to the surrounding Antigua Brewing Company. The stage was being set for a live band as we ordered another round of drinks. The first drink we got was a Froze Rose. This was a drink made with ice, watermelon juice, and illegal mezcal. The mezcal in this drink was smoky, which was a change from the last time we had this liquor. Kati added a straw to the drink when she tried it to not completely freeze her mouth like I did. We originally were going to try the espresso martini, but called it audible at the last second. We ordered something similar, however, as our second drink was essentially iced coffee and rum. Both bars were different, but still a lot of fun. As we were making it rain inside, God was making it rain outside. We were fortunate that we were able to see so much before it started pouring. We could have been done, but we heard that there was a restaurant nearby that served a vegetarian version of Pepion, so we had to brave the elements to find this place. 
When the food came out, it looked incredible. To the side of the bowl were tortillas, rice, and a tamal. This thing was overflowing. The stew made with tomatoes, garlic, and chili also included a local squash and massive carrots and potatoes. What does it taste like? Like a stew. Huh? Like a stew. Huh? Yeah, it's good. The tamal was small in size but big in flavor from the peppers. It was worth it to walk through the rain to get this meal. Inside we saw a proper sign for the restaurant, El Sabor de Mi Tierra. Besides food, they also had a super cool looking bar with flashing lights and a huge alcohol selection. They also had a hookah lounge. The walls were decorated with license plates and football jerseys. Antigua is a major tourist city and we can see why. We always love ruins and the ones here did not disappoint. They are not the Maya ruins you may think of, but still very impressive. As the sun set on our day, we were happy with all that we were able to see and do. Thank you for watching this video. This is Witty Travels. What could possibly be next?